So we're looking ahead and we are looking at trends and we are going to talk about something that is definitely not, definitely not new. And we have been talking about it for so long. We love storytelling, right? And when we, you know, <laughs> we're talking about storytelling stories, right? Storytelling is sold when human beings first started to speak, they started storytelling. Exactly. So I'm definitely not talking about anything new, yeah. but you know, and Look, people realized a long time ago, we need to tell stories in order to make connections, right? In order to sell things, right? But, you know, I think this is something you said, Brian, um, you know, people have kind of um, been delivering incoherent stories mm-hmm. since the time they figured out they need to do this. I don't know if you want to talk about that. So I think what's been happening instead of um, looking at, you know, sharp off, look at Nike, look at all these people that really kind of get this art of storytelling down. We're seeing people, smaller brands, uh, trying to tell stories that make no sense in terms of the bigger right. picture. Yeah, no. And the- so I think that's what we're talking about when we talk about incoherent storytelling mm-hmm. as a mar- yeah, and, marketing and, strategy. Yeah, and I think really it's just it's just you know it's incoherent. It's not cohesive, right? right. So it, it doesn't it doesn't follow that storytelling thing, and it, it, you know that storytelling sort of. Um, through it maybe is part of a story or part of the picture but they don't cohesively tell that story across across the brand right so it's like think about if you just read you just grabbed the novel and you randomly you know read you know 10 pages of it it would make no sense and a lot of times people aren't they're telling their story or companies aren't telling their story from start to finish and they're not telling the story in the appropriate manner you know meaning like Some users are coming here at that storytelling level, or like they're coming in at the beginning, but other users may come in, you know, at a different level. So where, where does the storytelling go for them? So if you sort of think about it, like, you know, and we, I know we like to build things like uh, choose your own adventure interactives and stuff like that. But if you think about it, it is in that user's journey. It's with the knowledge they have. And how do you tell that storytelling cohesively for everyone? Yeah. And when we're talking about storytelling, you know, I, I think another part of the storytelling strategy is going to be telling the stories of their employees and their customers mm-hmm. more. And I think a lot of brands do tell the stories of their customers. You know, we see those, um, you know, those stories a lot more, mm-hmm. but, but their employees, I mean, we're, we're going to see a lot more of that. And I think we're going to talk mm-hmm. about that in another trend when we talk about videos um, yeah. and using your employees, but the stories of your employees are going to become really important. Right. And, and I think, you know, we talk about this in social media all the time, like, you know, it always, it always amazes me how interested people are in just a little tiny slice of something, but how do you take all those little tiny slices and weave them together to tell your overall story as a company? 